Hey, it is Kita with Kita Explorer Photography here in Atlanta with Black Women Photographers. And today I'm gonna to bring you the last segment of Expose the Triangle, which is shutter speed. Just a reminder, shutter speed is the length of time that the sensor inside of your camera is exposed to light. So for this demonstration, first I'm gonna show you a shutter speed of one over 800, which is a very fast shutter speed. And then I'm gonna have an aperture of 2.8 and an ISO 100. I will not change the ISO or aperture for this tutorial. So let's see what this shutter speed brings with these cars on the street here in Atlanta. So as you can see, the car is in focus, even though it was speeding up to make sure it made it through the light, the car is in focus. So now let's see what happens if we change the shutter speed to, to 40, so no longer a fraction. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the photo got very, very bright. It is pretty white, everything is washed out, but you can kind of see that the cars that were moving fast are now blurred out. So what I did was I adjust the aperture to 10 so you can get less light from that component so you can see what actually happened here. As you can see, the car is actually blurred out now in the photo. So with shutter speed, the faster shutter speed, you're going to capture things in movement, capture things in action. And also you get like less light into your camera. This is good for people who are trying to focus on sports photography or car racing. Whereas a slower shutter speed, so not even a fraction, you're going to blur movement. So this is great if you want to blur those lights that are streaking along the highway. Definitely work with shutter speed in your other components in manual mode to get the best photo for you. Stay tuned to next week's educational video. Thanks for watching.